the signs of spring can surround your senses with a medley of activity. The smell of fresh grass, warm breezes, and a welcome explosion of color, like the red buds here at Red Haw State Park. But with that beauty comes danger. Shifting spring temperatures create a battleground between warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico and cold, dry air from Canadian storm fronts. And Iowa is right in the middle. While it may be terrifying to the average citizen, a handful of Iowans eagerly anticipate this weather window to drive headfirst into the rain and hail. They're called storm chasers, and Iowa is home to one of the most elite teams around, the Iowa Storm Chasing Network. This small band of thrill seekers does what few others could fathom, get up close and personal with the destructive tornado and share the danger with all of us. There's definitely an attraction to seeing something that the rest of the world doesn't get to witness. It's really a special feeling. You know, there's adrenaline in there. But there's also a sense of awe. There's just so many emotions that are going through your head when you see these incredible sights. Iowa falls all too easily into the old saying, don't like the weather, wait five minutes. The problem is sometimes those weather changes take a turn for the severe. And that's what inspired the Iowa Storm Chasing Network. Started in 2008 by Nick Weig and Ben McMillan, two friends with a passion for weather, the group's first chase came with one of the most devastating tornadoes in recent Iowa history, the Applington Parkersburg EF5 tornado. We were on a normal um, storm spotting mission, I guess you could call it. You know, we were looking up at the sky, we had a, a weekly rotating wall cloud, and at that point we were just uh, calling it in as a normal tornado. We reported that to the folks in Johnston at the National Weather Service. Uh, little did we know it was going to turn into that mile-wide killer tornado that, that so few tornadoes turn into. The video and pictures Nick and Ben were able to share online helped meteorologists and local officials understand the magnitude of the monstrous tornado headed Parkersburg's way. And in the moments leading up to an encounter with the tornado, advanced warning can be the difference between life and death. The unfortunate thing is people get very used to seeing a meteorologist on a TV screen pointing at a storm saying, be careful, this is dangerous. They don't take the appropriate action to keep their families and themselves safe. Preparing the unknowing public for the danger headed their way is specifically what storm chasing is all about. Sometimes that extra piece of information is enough to, to push someone into action to, to take some of those safety measures that everyone takes about, or talks about. Go to the lowest level of your home, put as many walls between you and the storm as possible. And if, you know, in an ideal situation, if you have an underground shelter, go to it. Since 2008, the Iowa Storm Chasing Network has grown from its two founders to now include three forecasters and four storm chasers. And instead of just focusing on Iowa, the team now chases tornadoes across the mid and southwest. And as thrill-seeking as its crew might be, none of it would be possible without the team tank, Dorothy. It's a tornado intercept vehicle. Uh, it's built to withstand strong winds. Uh, it has flaps that goes down to the ground and anchors it. Uh, the windows are a half inch polycarbonate, so the windows are bulletproof. And then it has a quarter inch Linex coating, which will stop a nine millimeter bullet alone. So there's a lot of armor between us and the outside. And we have a 2013 Ford Explorer, which has all our live streaming capabilities and is our forecasting operations basically on the road. Dorothy and her crew have become quite popular over the years with both kids and adults being eager to get up close and personal with the team's weather tank. So every year, when severe weather season comes to an end, the team travels the state educating Iowans on the danger of severe weather. And yes, letting curious minds get a good look inside Dorothy. Kids are so involved in weather. You know, they love storm chasing videos. They've seen the Discovery Channel show. They've seen Twister. They, they love it whenever they can talk to a storm chaser. And so it, it's, it's a joy to talk to all the little kids, even if they have personal stories to hear what their testimonials are that it makes them love the weather as well as our passion. Who's seen a white tornado? Or no? no? Storm chasers take their appearances very seriously. Beyond teaching the science of tornadoes and giving tours of Dorothy, the greatest message the team hopes to get across is not only what to do in the event of a tornado, but what not to do which means they spend a good amount of their time busting tornado safety myths. 
Uh, wind speeds actually increase underneath an overpass bridge and throws debris at a higher rate of speed and can actually suck you out. So being underneath an overpass is not a good place to be. Do not open your windows before a tornado. You're wasting time. Every minute counts, so take those minutes and use them wisely and take shelter. Put as much material between you and the outside walls possible. Cover your hands and neck and make sure you wear your shoes during a tornado. So those are just a few of the bigger myths that have been debunked. One of the major byproducts of showing off the team tank and streaming live video from beneath the tornado is untrained thrill seekers wanting to join the storm chasing fray. However, Zach says it's not a hobby to enter into lightly or without proper guidance. What mother would not want their kid to go out there and put themselves in harm's way, as my mom told me. It, it is a fun hobby, but it's not meant for everyone, as it is a very dangerous hobby. Uh, if you do want to go storm chasing, go with someone that has gone before. Uh, never go by yourself, and never go if you haven't gone before. Uh, if you're putting yourself in Mother Nature's fury, you can get in trouble. And anyone considering becoming a storm chaser should know it does not pay well. We're definitely not doing this to get rich. You have to be passionate about what, what you're doing out there. You have to have a love for weather. We all have part-time jobs, the full-time jobs. Uh, we have to have jobs that are pretty lenient. Uh, I also work full-time as a college student uh, going toward a degree in meteorology. Storm chasing is a hobby. Sure, there is a good amount of thrill-seeking and excitement that comes with being up close and personal with a tornado, but it is a service that the most brave among us provide. We want to document tornadoes and we want to get the word out about them. And we, we don't want to see the violent ones, but they're part of the picture. They're part of what we do. And we can't you know, expect just because we don't want to see something, something not to happen. We just got to be prepared for whatever comes our way. And in the end, I think, you know, you just have to, it's either you quit if you don't want to see it anymore, or you keep going and you deal with it. And chasers do end up seeing some truly historic weather. Uh, we tracked a storm uh, that started around Stanton, Nebraska, and it had a large, you know, mile-wide tornado on the ground, something we've seen before. But what happened next was, was really quite historic and, and something we'd never seen before. It actually formed a second tornado as the storm moved east near the town of Pilger. So we had two strong tornadoes, you know, turning across the countryside, and they were rated EF4, which is the second strongest tornado on the uh, scale in terms of how we rate these things. You know, in terms of the release of energy that was happening off the Earth's surface that day, in my opinion, it was unprecedented. It's something I'd never seen. While some tornadoes are awe-inspiring, others are hair-raising and ultimately lethal weather events including the 2013 tornado that nearly leveled the town of Moore, Oklahoma. Moore was probably the hardest tornado I have ever seen because I saw it coming from a long way away. And you see this thing develop out in the country. You see it on the horizon coming towards you. And you just know that no matter what you do, most likely everyone is not going to get the, the warning. You know, that's really hard when you're trying with every ounce of energy you have to help get the word out that there's something bad coming when people still um, you know, end up losing their lives. There's no way around it. Storm chasing is dangerous. Whether it's driving into 250 mile per hour winds or dodging debris rocketing out of a tornado, storm chasers are risking their lives gathering weather data. In 2013, three storm chasers close to the Iowa crew lost their lives chasing a tornado in Oklahoma and that team was considered among the safest crews on the road. Tim, Carl, and Paul were the best in the business, in my opinion. They were on the top of their game. They were conducting record-breaking weather research. These guys were on the cutting edge. You know, no one ever in a million years expected what happened, and to this day, I think we're all still trying to deal with it. It affected our team very uh, deeply, and so after that, you know, we tried to continue on their legacy on our dashboard. Beginning of every storm chase season, Tim would put a cheeseburger on his dashboard, and he would take it off as soon as he saw a tornado. So, and uh, in memory of Tim, until we see a tornado, then that cheeseburger will be removed from our dash. Knowing firsthand the risks that come driving headlong into a tornado's path, the Iowa Storm Chasing Network continues its work because there's simply nothing like being a storm chaser. You know, Mother Nature produces some spectacular views, and being a storm chaser, you get to see less than five, you know, less than five percent of people get to see what we get to see in our lifetime. So it's an amazing opportunity to be a storm chaser. 